everybody, this is Anne. Last week we experimented with geometric pattern textures on mugs by making simple cuts out of a fine ribbed rubber mat. This week we're taking it to another level to create more complex geometric designs. We had a number of questions about how we made the templates, and we thought we'd show a little behind the scenes about how we came up with some of the designs. We researched various geometric designs and came up with a few I think you're going to like. We made this simple triangle stamp that'll help us make a larger pattern for a bowl. We also turned a simple square stamp inside out to create a geometric leaf design. We cut up some dowel rods to create a simple rectangular stamp for a nice open weave basket design. Jim created a puzzle on two mats with the ribs going in opposite directions to create what he's calling the puzzle mug. It was a lot of fun, but it was a little dangerous too. And we learned that you can't shoot video and cut rubber at the same time. <laughs> we reassembled the puzzle, mixing pieces from both templates to come up with this design. First we'll use the geometric leaf stamp on a clay slab. I softly impressed a horizontal straight line in the center of the slab. Then I lined up two edges of the stamp along the straight line and I stamped. I repeated this process by placing each consecutive stamp beside the previous one. Once I got the first row finished, then it was easier to line up the next row between each of the previously stamped impressions. I used a mug template to cut out the rectangle from the slab. I finished the edges with a wet finger. Then curled it around a 3 inch diameter PVC pipe wrapped with plastic wrap. I joined the seam, softened the rim, then added a bottom and a handle. For more details about how I construct the mugs, check out part 1 in this series called 10 Amazing Ideas Using a Ribbed Mat. I'm really happy with how this came out, but it'll take another week to get it glazed and fired. So be sure you're subscribed and have your notification turned on to get an alert when we post the final glazed pictures on the community page. Next I'll use this Y-shaped stamp for the next pattern. This time I softly impressed a vertical line into the slab. I lined up the bottom edge of the Y and the middle of the top part of the Y on the vertical line and pressed. I continued in this way with each consecutive Y lined up on top of the previously stamped image. Once the first row was done, it was easy to line up the next rows right up against the first row like so. The cool thing was that when you look at the pattern from different angles, you see different patterns each time. Again, I cut out the pattern from a template, curled the slab, joined the edges, added a floor and a handle to create this neat mug. Next I'll use this slim rectangular stamp to create an open weave basket design. As you can see, I marked the back of the stamp to try and keep the design straight. I started out by marking soft vertical and horizontal lines into the clay, then began stamping. I kept working around the original stamped impressions, like so, until I got this pattern. I did have a bit of a problem keeping the lines straight. In hindsight, I should have applied more marks on the raw slab before committing to stamping. I then cut out the clay, and look, I finally got a fancy beveling tool to help cut with. I joined the edges to create a seam, and this time I curled the clay around to create an oval shape. I added a bottom and softened the rim to make this piece. Thank you. 
I use this triangle stamp for the next pattern. I started by impressing a horizontal mark on the clay. I lined up three triangle stamped images along that mark. I then stamp two impressions above those, and then one impression over the third row to create a bigger triangle. I then made several of the bigger triangles beside each other on the mark. Then I made a soft mark lined up along the top of the first row of the big triangles. I lined up the triangle stamp between the top of the triangles from the first row and built up from there. I decided the pattern looked southwestern, so I created a bowl shape with it, forming it over a half a styrofoam ball. I added a slab band around the raw edges to create a rim for this piece. This will make a nice bowl or maybe even a wall hanging. Finally, Jim's creative idea, the puzzle mug. Once all the pieces were cut out with the lines running in opposite directions, we used packing tape along the back of the pieces to keep them together. I tried pulling up the tape pieces as one, but the edges of the individual pieces dug into the clay. So I took the tape off and carefully pried each piece individually. I cut out the slab from a template, curled the clay around a plastic wrapped PVC pipe, beveled and joined the edges, added a bottom and a handle to create this cool mug. We found that the number of geometric patterns you could create with the rubber mat were endless. I look forward to experimenting more with this. If you liked our video, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you next time in the studio.